want to share with you some good news that God ministered to my heart today and in such a way that made me want to share it with you as well so it will minister to you. Let me read the word of the Lord. All this is from God who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. As I was reading this this morning, starting to pray it through, God uncovered it so I could see something I hadn't noticed before, and that is that Paul is using two parallel phrases and they rhyme. I don't know if you've heard me say this before, but in the Hebrew mind, they often used the rhyming of thoughts, parallel thoughts, so that the thoughts rhymed, not the words, the way we're used to it, but the thoughts rhymed. They, they were kind of repeating the same thing for emphasis. So in this one sentence, Paul says the same basic thing twice, but in a bit different words, so the sense of it would become all the stronger to us. So he's telling us that all these things that he's writing about in his letters about the salvation we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's all from God. And then he says what God has done. God, through Christ, reconciled us to himself. Now the us there is believers. And Paul is saying that once God reconciled us, thinking of, of him and his ministry, to himself, he gave us the ministry of reconciliation, meaning when you experience reconciliation with God, you want to share with others how they can have reconciliation with God. And so that gives us a ministry to do. And then he repeats it in a bit different words, but he says, that is, in Christ. In other words, you can't find this anywhere else. God, meaning no one else can do this for you, he was reconciling the world to himself. Now, the world there doesn't mean every individual. It means, in contrast to the Jewish people who had reason to believe that the Messiah might come for them, the New Testament says, no, he came for the world, and he came for all nations. So this is the same message for all nations, no matter our skin color, no matter our ethnicity, no matter what language we speak, it is for the world. This is good news for the world. And then he emphasizes not counting their sins against them. So if God's going to reconcile us to himself, he has to deal with our sin problem. Otherwise our sin is constantly going to be breaking relationship with him, but he is no longer counting our trespasses and sins against us and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Now, I want you to notice this. First, he said he gave us the ministry of reconciliation, and then he said he's entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. A ministry is something we do in order to help and bless others, a message is the content of what we say to people in order to bring about the blessing of ministry. So the issue is always reconciliation. God's aim in sending Jesus into the world was to reconcile sinners to himself. What that has done is given us two things. First is, there's a ministry of reconciliation that we've been given. The church has been given a ministry of reconciliation, which means the church's role in the world is to tell people how they can be reconciled with God. That's our role. We're here as strangers in a foreign land, as ambassadors in a foreign country, trying to tell people, look, God has made a way for us to be reconciled with him. But then there's the message of reconciliation, and that is the content of what God's told us to say. It's the message. And what, what God is showing here is the only message of reconciliation is in his word. 
the moment we say there are some sins in the Bible that don't need to be reconciled, that's not the message of reconciliation. The moment we say that, that there's a salvation, but it only applies to some people, that's not the message of reconciliation. So when we say we have a ministry of reconciliation where we have a role to help people be reconciled to God, and then there's a message of reconciliation, we have to make sure all of that comes from the Word of God. I know I can't give you enough in this short video to tell you all about how this works, but what I'm presenting to you is a ministry of reconciliation, and I'm pointing you to the Word of God. You can find in the Word of God everything you need to know about how to be reconciled with God. That is my ministry to you, to tell you this today, that you can be reconciled with God. The message of reconciliation is in God's Word. It's in there. You can't change it. You can't take away from it. You can't add to it. You can't apply it to, to some things differently than others. There's one message of reconciliation, and it's in the Word of God. I'm going to share in the description a few links that will help you sh explore this yourself in the Word of God and some articles that explain it better. But my point to you right now is, do you hear in your heart that God has done everything you need for you to be reconciled with God. If you do, tell God you want it. When Jesus came in his ministry, which was, was a ministry of reconciliation, he said, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the good news. What he was saying is, people, right from the start, even before you understand it all, if you know the time that God promised in his word to send a savior into the world, that has been fulfilled. And now the kingdom of God is near to everybody. It's here, available to anybody. And it's through repentance, which means changing our minds about our sin so that instead of loving our sin and wanting to indulge it, we start to hate our sin and we don't want to walk that way anymore. And we turn in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ, who we once doubted, we once disbelieved, maybe we once hated, but now we realize he's the only savior of the world and we are drawn to him and we want to walk with him. So repentance is walking away from that old life of sin and faith is attaching to Jesus Christ as our only savior from sin. And if you can agree with that much today, then tell God, Tell God, I repent of my sins. I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. And I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's all I can share today. But consider that in God's word, his people have a ministry of reconciliation to share with everybody. And we have a message of reconciliation, which is the gospel, the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all here. It's all in the word of God. There's Christians all around who are, are willing and eager to share that with you. So find out if you have a Christian in your life who knows this. They, they ask them, have you been reconciled with God? And if they say yes, ask them, show me how. And that is offered to everybody. So consider that the good news of great joy for today that God has spoken to you the ministry of reconciliation. He's spoken to you the message of reconciliation and his word says, be reconciled with God.